This tutorial is about Google Calendar. This is the intro tutorial in which I will tell you how to log in, how to create a calendar, share a calendar, and to subscribe to someone else's calendar. Um, Google Calendar is a great tool because just like all the other Google applications, you can add collaborators and share it very easily. I personally use it not only at school but also at home to share uh, folders with my husband and other family members. So in order to log in, you're going to go to calendar.google.com. And just like our other um, Google applications through WCPS, you want to log in with your WCPS username and password. If you have a personal um, Gmail account, you can also um, sign in with it and share your calendars with each other so that you only really need to log in with one account. Um, so I'm going to choose my WCPS account, enter my password. Now, um, I have lots of calendars already created and shared with me, so first I'll show you. Um, so these are my calendars, my uh, initial one that's already set up based on my username and password. Then I have calendars from all of my Google Classrooms. So all of the classroom accounts that I have created in Google Classroom um, that come, that you know, it signs them up for a calendar, so those are all listed here as well. Um, I also have one, um, other calendars and this is where uh, my principal has shared the Fountaindale staff calendar with me so if I choose on that I would prefer the month view but um, then it, I can see all of the things that we have going on at Fountaindale so she adds things to it and as soon as she adds it it pops up in my calendar as well so to get started um, you'll need to create a calendar so if you go under my calendars and hit the down arrow um, it's simple it says create new calendar I'm going to call this test um, since it's a sample and I'm going to say this is a sample for the calendar tutorial. Um, so you can change of course like your time zone and all of those things which it's it's set up it's intuitive so it's set up based on where you're logging in from and things like that. Uh, you have the choice as soon as you create the calendar to make it public or to share it with people at WCPS or to invite just specific people. So you can enter um, a person's specific email address and, and invite just them, just like you would with any other um, Google application. Okay, so I'm going to simply click Create Calendar. And now under my calendars, I'll have one called Test. Actually, let's see. Yeah, I, oh, I have two tests because I made a test Google Classroom, that's why. So um, any of them that are highlighted are shown on your calendar at the time. So right now, since I have FDE selected, it's there. But as soon as I take that away, then it's gone. Um, and so I can select which one. Um, now, if you want to, after you have created your calendar, if you want to share it, um, you can just click this little down arrow beside it and it gives you some display options. So you can, um, let's see, right here, share this calendar and it'll pull up this screen, again, where you can make it public, share it with everyone at WCPS, or enter in specific email addresses. Um, under this tab, you can also um, change some other settings and things, which we'll look at a little bit later. Uh, now, if someone, so here under my other calendars, this is where I have the ones that have been shared with me. Um, it's very simple to add someone's calendar. First of all, they can invite you to it, just like I showed you that you can invite people to your calendar. Um, you can search for a coworker's calendar because we're all under the WCPS domain. If you just type in um, the person's name, then you, know, you can um, select them. Let's see. And I'll just go with Jenny Jones. So if I select her, then now her calendar is there um, and I can see her events. When you set up your calendar, you edit the settings there. So if you don't want people to have access to it, that's where you click that button um, that said share with WCPS. So share this calendar. Um, see, share with everyone in WCPS. If you don't want your calendar to be visible to other people, then you would want to unselect that and make sure you save your changes. Um, the other way that you can join people's calendar, if you click here under other calendars, um, you can browse interesting calendars, uh, but you can also add by URL. So if someone sends you the link to it, you can add it that way. Uh, next up, I'm going to show you how to edit your calendar, different ways to view it, uh, how you can actually print it, and then how you can search for events once you've added them.